dude. I want to look like that uh, that one dude, the the I who's the, the jacked guy out of the family. Mm. Mm. Emmett. Emmett. That dude took some HGH to get that big. That's uh, impossible. Uh, 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 uh. Welcome to Twilight. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I am just. You know, I'm excited too. Buzzing with excitement. I am me as well. <laughs> What's up? I'm Lexi Simonson. And I'm Justin Tilla. And this is Spicy Tuna, a podcast where we talk about media that's new to one or both of us. We'll cover TV, movies, and a bunch of other stuff. Right now, we're watching the Twilight franchise. I've seen it. And I haven't. So let's get into it. Um, okay, so I think first things first, one of the first questions you asked me was, what did you think this was going to be like? Like, what did you think the movie was going to be about? Uh, I mean, it, it was about what I thought. About what you gonna, thought. I mean, my sister read the book. Um, I remember in <laughs> grade, um, shout out Miss. <laughs> uh, cool Mrs. name. Yeah. Uh, she was like telling all these girls about this book she was reading. And Your I was teacher like, was? Yeah. Oh. A, a grown. Oh. On. Yeah, a grown ass woman was like hella obs- like not even just like oh I'm kind of reading this. She was like really obsessed. Like in like a way where I was like, are you really that obsessed about? Like I get being obsessed oh. about this book as a like an older like, adult, you know? Like yeah, but, like I mean, the way I... she was obsessed about it was the same level as like a teenager. The teenagers. That's a little intense. I remember because <clears throat> I read the book uh, last year? Question mark. I think last year or maybe this year. No, last year. Last year. Hold on. Do that what? again because I have to cut that out of me making fun of her. So, like, go back to what you're saying. You read the book last. Oh, um. So I read the book last year. Yeah. And I was like, because I I watched the movie first. It is incredible. Also, like how much better the books are. Like they really are. I mean, everything makes, makes more sense. Yeah. Everything makes yeah. more sense. Um. But they really put like base. I feel like from what I remember, yeah. they're pretty spot on in this movie. Like as yeah. far as like context and bringing everything that was necessary. Right. Yeah. Very, very much on. So, um, so yeah, but that's my interpretation of, cause I remember when it was coming out, it was like, I was in fifth grade and um, everyone was having teams. I think this was mm. honestly the first experience I had with what shipping was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because uh-huh. people had teams. <clears throat> um, I think because a lot of the media I was consuming didn't have like strong love interests. Um, yeah. Because they all work out, you know? Like, yes. Yeah. Like, you know, this person's going to get with this person. Mm-hmm. Um, but then love triangles and whatnot. Um, oh, yeah. It gets dicey. I think uh, what else was around this time that like teenage or like girls were obsessed with i think hunger games i think was probably big around high school the time. musical was around high this school time musical, so yeah. it was all within that core mm-hmm. of what was happening um and i think my sister read the books like a year after mm. or like two years so not immediately when they came out but yeah. yes was telling all these girls to read the book That's and then so funny i think like we had book club um and then they were all reading that book that's weird yeah, well, they chose it. You could choose the book you're reading for book club, and then they like wait. All the girls and the teacher, they were all in a book club together. No, no, no. no. It was oh. like a curriculum thing. Like we all had to pick a book to read, and like every girl picked Twilight. Oh, okay. Like, but you there was always to... like one girl that's like, oh, I'm reading King Arthur, and yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm reading Lord of the Rings. I know. Yeah, she, they always turn out to be hotter and cooler when they're <laughs> adults. That anyway, is very so it's very true. Uh, but. Yeah, so uh, that was like my first impression, uh-huh. and then after that, not really. I remember sneaking into a R-rated movie, and it was Vampire Suck, mm. the parody okay, movie. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I kind of knew story beats generally of how the sh- the movie was gonna go. That's right. That's right. So, I remember you saying that you were like, "Oh yeah, this scene was in the <clears throat> other vampire movie, <laughs> the one that was like the parody of it." Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, but I mean, like, yeah, and I just remember that time was just like very vampire heavy so vampire heavy you know like i think about there was always those like things people like when zombies were big Uh and zombies were everywhere Uh i remember at this time like vampires were a thing everywhere i I feel like it was also just young adult books with like some sort of with like it was i feel like they were the first young adult books that were like also a little bit spicy like you didn't really have that 
at least that yeah. I knew of. Like, yeah. th- there were always, especially like in the Hunger Games or even like Harry Potter. Harry there, Potter, there's no like, there's, there's no, no like love, love. Like yeah, that. there's no like I'm coming <laughs> because I can smell your blood. Yeah, <laughs> there's not like that. There's nothing like that in Harry Potter. No, when, when you're and you're, I'm, I'm like <laughs> not not one bit. And this is like so much into that realm. I have to yeah. say though, because. I had the expectation that there were going to be like really hot, sexy, intense, like sex scenes for some reason when I read these books as an adult and there literally weren't. There literally were not. I don't know if this might be TMI as a, as a woman. Uh, I mean, you didn't, you didn't read this. I mean, you did Vicky, but uh, is this like the intro to, to porn or like just like probably for some, probably for women, right? Like 50 shades of gray is based. Based the book, yeah, the fan of, fiction, yeah, of the fan fiction of Twilight. Because I we, think that's absolutely every kid hilarious. had that one like PG thirteen thing, yeah, where yeah, they yeah. went, they went like, because you're having your sexual awakening when yes. you're in middle school, and yes. you're like, I like girls or like I like dudes, mm-hmm, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, and everyone has that one piece of media where you went. And you're yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Something. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what's going on? Well, it was really early on. You could tell, like, like pe- girls yeah. would be like, "I'm Team Jacob" or "I'm Team Edward," and they and someone would a girl would be like, "I really like Bella. Like, I think she's really pretty." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and then and then everyone's like, like oh. everyone's like, "Whoa, okay, yeah, how yeah, she yeah. had to grow up?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably yeah, no. Continuing to like Bella throughout the thing, and <laughs> and, and yeah. So, anyways, um, but because I, I just remember, I don't know, I, I don't know what it was for for dudes. Like, I'm trying to remember, but there's always that piece of media where you're like. I'm it's, into this. It's riding that PG-13 line. Yes. Where kids are like into becoming. It. Like, because it's like the elementary and a middle school. In mm-hmm. middle school, you start like, mm-hmm. ah, did you see that video of her in like the blah, blah, blah? Yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. Like your yeah. first access to a computer. And then like, <laughs> you know, it snowballs from there. But uh, yeah, that was kind of my impression of yeah. of Twilight. I definitely think that's like the root of things. So um, should we go through the movie like as yeah as it pertains so we watched the movie together yeah you were making constant notes and i was looking over and Th- they, they were just extensive. like extensive no like two words like like edward's face or like horny or just like just but that's how i did the avatar thing. ones i know i didn't do them like that though i oh, don't think i did you're so, like writing paragraphs and like yeah i was fuck? like writing full sentences why does he of, look like, like this he is why I think this is, yeah literally that was all you were doing you were also i'm so happy you were like laughing from the get go. And I was so I don't know why. I was just worried that we were gonna watch this and you're gonna just like So okay, so going through the movie, um I wrote what the fuck the first thing. Uh-huh. I said, Why is Edward about to come? Because he okay, kept so, looking like he was about to So like, before have that, an what orgasm. was what was your first impression of like the Cullens? Like that whole scene, like walking in and they're doing the whole thing. Well like, well, I wrote um I'm like, what can I not say out loud that I kind of just wrote really fast? Um, I mean, it kind of played, I, I think because I watched Vampire Suck that it kind of yeah. like ruined it. Okay. Because I was just like, I kind of, ex- I knew you that expected, was, yeah. I kind of knew that was going to happen. I don't know if I actually watched the movie as a kid. Mm. I don't think I did. But you know, when you watch movies in passing, like, yeah. oh, it's on direct it's on, TV. Or yeah, it's on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're playing Twilight on TBS. Let yeah, me just like yeah. go watch it real fast. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it was like, dope i thought it was cool like, they're like these 30 year olds walking into I this mean, high school that's like every fucking movie it is you know what i'm saying yeah like um and i could definitely tell that if i was a like a young girl at in like what when this movie come out like 2010 2010, 2010. i would think that was so hot yeah like, just like like oh goth people God. yeah like yeah, yeah. i mean everyone likes a hot goth girl now like right yes yeah oh my like gosh. like you know if you're a hot goth girl Hit, yeah, hit us hit up. Hit up Justin. But Justin like, wants to talk to you. But like, yeah, I, I, you know, it was, but it, it didn't seem anything like crazy because it's okay. just like usual, like, uh huh, like when hot people walk into a movie, it's always slow, mm-hmm. and then like wind picks up, even yes. though they're indoors, yes, and then everyone feels like, the need to look. Thought throughout the mu- movie, also, I really <clears throat> liked how you. Because you said multiple times, you're like, I can tell these people are good actors. Like, I can tell that they're just doing what they're being told to do kind of thing. Yeah, like... Because all of these... Because... They got so much hate, and, you know, it's kind of fucked up, but... Yeah. You know, in the the words of Olivia Wilde, if the movie sucks, it's the director's fault. Oi! So... Just no, saying. No, you know. no comment on this. No comment. Um, No, but I think... 
it's interesting because like Kristen Stewart had been working her first thing that she had done was in 2000 she'd been working for 10 years yeah. exclusively on movies yeah. yeah and then um um robert pattinson had been working for he was on the- he, was, he was a theater kid right yeah like he, I, and- mm, maybe i have no idea i know his first big big thing was harry potter he did like one right. thing before harry potter um and the goblet of fire which yeah. i can't remember what year that came out but so these people are like established actors like they've yeah, been like acting. they've been yeah did you know um andrew garfield robert pattinson and charlie cox were all roommates in New York, really? When they first moved to the U.S., that's really and interesting. they all I ended up playing do like they all ended up being superheroes. So that's crazy. Oh wow, that's crazy. Um, but they're all imports, you know. They're all the fucking. Yeah. When people talk about who's taking the jobs, it's British it's the people. British people. They can do <laughs> they can do great American accents, and they're taking the, a lot of. They're jobs. literally taking the the most iconic American. Yeah. culture points and just it's because they're the best actors because they're theater trained well they're they're well trained in general yeah from- they're well trained in general but they're theater trained and so they're coming over here after like hardcore training and theater getting good acting and then yeah. they come over but also- here yeah um, <laughs> um okay so how weird were the friends let's just talk about how Anna weird Kendrick. and mean <laughs> genuinely mean her friends are they're not friends they're n- they they, they were throw so things mean. at her they put words that's what in i wrote face. i wrote why did he throw a pen at her it was it wasn't a pen right it was licorice i think it was that's licorice actually it was licorice. Mm-hmm. who the fuck does that to their friend just like hey bella tsk, like yeah. just throws it at her like they do what i like if someone's like yo justin and then threw a shoe at my face i'd be like i'm not hanging out this weekend no like, no and like when they're at the beach and anna kendrick is like or uh, Jessica? Jessica's her character? Yeah, Jessica is like, Bella's date didn't come. Feel bad for her. Like, <laughs> oh my, the whole theme of this movie, let's just talk about, the theme of this movie is gaslighting. Everyone is gaslighting Bella. If I went up to Bella, right, like, I was just like, hey, Bella, can you just, like, come off the side? Just, I would just tell her, like, hey, dude, like, just maybe do your own thing. Like, like Yeah, you know, and she's trying to. She's desperately I, I would t- trying you to. You know, pick up an extracurricular, you know what I'm saying? Like, away from these people. Yeah. Like, you know, I'll just be like, look, I, I don't think they're your friends. No, they're literally not. They're so mean to her. And then they're like, will you go to the prom with me? And I'm like, what oh, the- Mr. Friendzone? That's what I wrote. Oh, Mr. Man. Friendzone? You didn't like him at first. And then by the end, you were like, I think I like him. Yeah. I mean, like, I was like, I was like, normal dude, clearly normal jawline in comparison to like, the, all these vampires yeah, 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 carved yeah. out of fucking granite. Stone, yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and so I was just, but he was just like kind of weird. And I'm like, why would she want to go to prom with you? You're an asshole. Yeah, you're like, just you're like- you're fucking mean. It's, all of them are, he's definitely the nicest of, him and um, yeah. Susie Crabgrass. Susie Crabgrass. You caught, I literally did not even- all of the times that I've watched this show, and I watch Ned's Declassified, yeah, yeah. and I never caught on to that. You immediately were like, hot girl from Ned's Declassified. Susie well, Crabgrass. I was like, I knew, I looked at her face, and I'm like, you were hot in something. Yeah. Like, I just remember <laughs> you being like, I looked at her face, and I was like, I remember you, and a uh, someone's pining after you and then i was like you are Susie crabgrass i think that's so funny that you recognize her <coughs> immediately and she was really nice too she was always super nice yeah yeah but they you know yeah well i mean we'll get to the scene later but um yeah they were nice i'm just like you know i i definitely not the behavior of friends you first meet you know what i'm saying like they're all kind of yeah kinda no mean to very her. rude very um, like just intense and shitty but that's like a small that's a small town there's like 10 people that go to that school so like she this is this new girl coming in yeah but i'm not gonna throw licorice at her (laughs) yeah or put a worm in her face or empty (laughs) your fucking wet hat on her like the rain they're like yo what up arizona and yeah never using rain. even by the end of the movie even by the end of the movie they're like sup arizona it's like that's not fun to be fair if someone gives you a cool nickname that's that's endearing that's endearing not like arizona ironically because she's also pale as fuck (laughs) but also i was like i was like if they were like yo b because her name's bella Bella, i would be like that's endearing that's nice yeah not like hey one quality that i know about you is where you're from yeah and that's all that's gonna stick that was like my wrestling coach who he was like you mexican and i'm like no i'm filipino (laughs) and he just goes okay pacquiao and then just (gasps) called me pacquiao and and like after four months he was like hey dude i actually don't know your real name <gasps> and so i oh, was like <laughs> justin i was like because he had to sign me up for a tournament and he goes what is your actual name oh my god 
much. And I'm like, but to be fair, smidge racist. But also, I you know, Did nicknames you like are it, endearing. Though? Yeah, especially when yeah. you're young, you're like, give me a nickname, make me special. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, out of love though, not out of like. That's like if you know someone's like, yo, his nickname is is little bitch. Then I'd be <laughs> like, that's not a good nickname. Little dung. Like yeah. Little, yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Do you feel like Bella and Edward had good chemistry? Like, did you feel the chemistry there between the char- not like the uh, like the characters? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. I think. I think they did the best they could. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's definitely chemistry there. I would say you can tell that they really like as Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. Yeah. You can tell they tried. I think. Yeah. I think it's hard when every scene is constructed to you like play fighting. Like, I always mm. find play fighting is really <laughs> hard to make work. Okay. Um, where they're just like, the fuck do you want? And then like, but there's like that subtle attraction there. I yeah, yeah. I feel like it's really hard like to land sometimes to because like when, especially when it's like, I can't be around you. It's yeah, like, like, how you are you shouldn't be to, friends with me. You're supposed to kind of make that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, but I mean, there's still like some chemistry there. Yeah. I, I find, I mean, it, it was enough to make fucking six movies. So Yeah, no kidding. Um, so, so. I think just because it's written, like they're supposed to like, what, not like each other. And then within like, uh, like within like, two days he's like jump on my fucking back as i sprint <laughs> through the forest i'm like i'm a vampire yeah he's like try not to get lyme disease and then like throws <laughs> her on her back and starts sprinting like you know but i i definitely could see that it was there i think it's like hard when like the first scene is he's repulsed and you know you find out later why but like yeah but he's actually he's not technically repulsed he seemed repulsed he seems repulsed yes and and that's why that's you're like what is going as, on yeah. yes especially when she sniffed her hair yeah she's like oh my gosh feels so awkward <laughs> yeah. yeah the reason is because like he just literally wanted to kill her so <laughs> bad like he just wanted to literally annihilate that's this also girl. i think that's also one of the things that like i was like i was like if a guy takes you to the woods and i was like dude i want to fucking kill you i want to like, drink your blood you're like, yeah you're my own personal I'm brand like, of dude, heroin it's like it's like the that's like gives me such amusement park couple vibes uh yes yes there's yes. always that like that couple that's like in the lunch line like they're like yeah. they're like whispering and she's like he's like always like rubbing her back like this oh my god you know what i'm saying yes i know exactly what you're and, talking and you're about like, you're like, can you not make out in the library right yeah now? it's like how are you this physical we're in eighth grade it's very weird yeah it's yeah. very intense yes yeah. yeah um what's funny is that so edward oh my God, robert pattinson <laughs> so he was playing the character like really dark and moody and broody and that's like not what they wanted at all and that is the biggest difference in the books he yeah. is like the most He's very charming. He's still broody for sure, but he's really charming. Yeah, he didn't come off as super. Tra- he no. didn't. He didn't. I would say he did in certain points. I think I, I wrote Edward got chiller. So because like past the midpoint, I was like, oh, you're fine. Just do that. So instead so, of like being angry uh, and weird. So the producers and like the director, I assume uh, it doesn't explicitly say director, but the higher ups were very unhappy with his performance being so broody and they literally almost fired him they had to call his agents in and he does an interview about this This isn't like hearsay he does an interview and he's like yeah my agents had to come and like talk to me and be like look whatever you're doing do the opposite because you're going to get fired if you don't change and he was like oh okay i feel bad because in you know is that part of the direction that you know is what are they telling him? You know, like is, I don't know. They're just saying like, be an angry vampire. I I'd don't be know like, if they that's were. That's like a perfect angry vampire. If you told them, hey, be an angry vampire. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever it was. So there are like very yeah. like specific points where you're like, oh yeah, like he's a lot happier right now. Like he just looks a lot lighter because they wanted him. They were telling him like they want you to be like happy. Like you're happy to be here like you're you, whatever like you yeah. found this girl like blah blah yeah. blah and i don't i just didn't i think he was like that doesn't make sense which honestly like it kind of because there's such that push and pull like i agree right. with you know whatever but um yeah i, I just think that's so funny that he was literally yeah. almost fired for being too angry <laughs> yeah i i think uh, and also i think i wrote what else i write i don't know where we're at in like the the thing for like sick like sequentially where we're at when we're talking oh, about the movie because uh, I, I wrote like um 
like why is he again why is he always looking like he's either about to shit or come <laughs> There's, those are the two things he always looks like he's about to everyone do. Everyone looks like that in this movie. Everyone looks like they're about to shit or they're about to literally come. Yeah. And I'm like... Uh, everyone is so horned up. There's something so that needs up. to be relieved, whether it, is, <laughs> whether it is through their ass or through something else. Something needs to be relieved <laughs> because they're always so pent up. Yeah. Like, everyone is so There's pent a lot of pent up. up. Like, just like... Like broody, like uh, like mom, this isn't a phase. Like that's like the yeah, equivalent. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, the, yeah, everyone yeah. that like watched these movies were like, mom, this isn't a phase. And everyone is talking like they're out of breath. But yeah, I don't know if it's the altitude at Forks or <laughs> it's you know ev- everyone is out of breath. I don't know if it's because Bella's clearly not an athlete. Seeing the oh volleyball my gosh, scene, so funny. <laughs> but <laughs> that's a whole thing in the book as well. And th- I think they played it up a bit. In like they like did a good enough job of it in the movie. But in the book, she's like constantly just like, "I'm so clumsy. I'm so clumsy. I'm so clumsy." <laughs> They're throwing these volleyballs at her, and she's, she's just like, like, "Fuck!" She's just like, "Yeah." She's just like, <laughs> she's just like going like this. Um, <sighs> but so uh, funny. Yeah, like everyone sounds like they're out of breath, and everyone's blinking. So much. Everyone blinks so much in this movie. I wonder if it's the colored contacts. Yes. Okay. So everyone always makes fun of specifically uh, uh, Chris and Stewart because she just is like constantly blinking, and she's wearing. Is it, she's like that in normal life. She's a always little. Like, bit, uh, she's a little like mousy. You said that. Yes. Yeah. She she's is. always like itchy. Yes, but she was also wearing colored contacts, and was I know she? like yeah because wow. she naturally has green eyes. Oh. So she was wearing like dark. I'm gonna guess like. Because all of these color contacts, it's 2010. They're not nice. Like, no, they're not good no. quality. Also, if they're not your prescription. Yeah. They're not so gonna... I'm thinking that, like, because when I, whenever I've tried to wear contacts, I literally, like, I blink once and then it irritates my eyes. And so I blink a couple more times. Like, after watching these movies a couple times, I'm like, oh, her eyes are probably just fucking irritated. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, they're all just irritated as fuck. <laughs> right, right. So that's my theory on that. <clears throat> Um, um, what else did I, I, I write going down here? Jacob is not Native American. Okay, he has traces. That's like saying, like, uh, this might be too tangenty. Like, Darren Chris is your Filipino. Darren, Darren Chris. Chris is. This white, you know who Darren Chris is. Uh, He's on Glee. Oh, 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 But, like, oh. when people are like, they casted a Filipino. Him? He's not. Yeah, no, he's Him? so clearly not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's your guy. That's like, that's like. That's like the, uh, as much as he looks Native American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, to yeah. be fair, he does look. Taylor Lautner is very racially ambiguous. He is. He very much. I'm just is. like, I'm just in my head when I saw it. I was like, is you he actually? Am- Native you Native immediately Native? were like, he's not. He's well, not. When you had people who like stand next to him who were like fully Native so American, clear. yes, and he looks, and you're like, uh, he he gets all the other features that aren't mm-hmm. Native American that are the standard beauty, good looking yes. features. Yes, where you know he's just white feature looking mm-hmm. and he's just just tan, tan with dark so hair. you're like oh he's a thing yeah and then you're like yeah fucking hey, yeah, sure 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 there. no worries no worries yeah definitely yes because they also for everyone else in the quilliet how do you say it quilliet Quilliet tribe, they like had to like see their they were like we want to see proof that you yeah. are like Native FAFSA. American <laughs> or first first something I can't uh, oh. I'm assuming close to the like your first generation? Yes, or? yes. Um, um, so they were First Nation. Is that what it's called? I believe so. I'm botching this. But um, they were basically like, you need to be really it. Yeah. Um, and there's cool, a ton. Though. They employed, especially in the second movie, That's cool. they employ, and it just gets like more and more and more. There yeah. are a ton in the tribe, and they're all native american which is really really cool yeah. i think they didn't yeah. try and like they didn't fuck with that too much they were really yeah. they and they didn't last airbender it no they did <clears throat> not and there's an actual Kuliet tribe in um uh, washington somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. uh and they went and like the director and all the producers like talked to the tribe and was like hey like this is what we're doing like right and they like kind of like touched base with them which i yeah. thought was like really cool that's no, cool that, that's that's what you should do yeah you absolutely know, that's really but for 2010 like people being ignorant at that time mostly yeah. like yeah they're they're all hey, it's fine it's that's fine. all they said in like in the suits they're all yeah like, no fine. worries yeah we'll get fucking shark boy to do this because he's hot and is like kind of brown mm-hmm. you know so, um, do you think um, this is such like a general statement? I guess specifically Collins, but Bella. Do you feel like these are like good people in general? Yeah. Like, 
I don't I don't know. Like it's a little predatory. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh I I think like uh yeah, it's just I I mean, I think they're fi- I feel like the dad's the only like normal dude who's Charlie? like Charlie? Yeah. The only one who's like yeah, just do your thing. Yeah, just like, like be careful, carry around mace. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, about do it. Do you think they're not you think they're super predatory? Like do you think Edward is? No, I just was curious because like with some of their motives, I guess, and like Bella like is so determined to be a vampire. Like do you think that she's do you think I guess rephrasing this, do you think that she is right like valid in wanting to be a vampire? I think it's a phase, you know, like when you're a teenager, like you'd want to do a lot of things. Yeah. Like all of the tattoos. Yeah. Like, God, yeah, I wore, you know, I wore shirts that were extremely tight <laughs> and I had titties in th- when I was 13. Like, I, uh, I don't see what, you know what I mean? You want to do a yes. lot of things that are kind of dumb. Yes. Yes. You know, like I wore skinny jeans, mm-hmm. you know, I can't imagine someone like, Hey, let's do this thing. That's going to change your life. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, that's insane. And she's like, I'm going to do it. Well, and Edward is like, no, dude, he, no. Uh, yeah. Which good for him, man. You, mm-hmm. you, he, he's like old. He had the Spanish flu. Yeah. Which also like how lonely of a life has he must like lived? Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like this whole entire time, his family have had like partners or whatever. He's seventh wheeling. Yeah. He's and so finally wheeling. now he like, ha- like that's a very lonely life to live. Yeah. Of just like playing piano. Such incel ass vibes, a little incel y. Uh, you kept saying that. Yeah, incel I never would have thought Edward, about that. Like, you know, like he's just like, you know, like I want to change you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's <laughs> that's some like fur. They talk like furries. <laughs> they talked a little like furries. That's hilarious. Like, I want to eat your heart. That's like Ugh. some like army hammer, like, yeah, fucking weird, weird kink weird shit. Weird shit. Like, I don't weird, kink weird shame, shit. but like when you're saying, when you tell a girl, I want to eat you, then I'd be like, in what way? Mm. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Why like, though? Why though? Um, okay. So, also, kind of fun fact the baseball scene and the very end dance yeah. studio scene were the first scenes filmed. That's awesome. Isn't that crazy? I, I will say my favorite scene was that baseball scene. <laughs> really? That oh yeah, was my because favorite scene. What's yeah. your face? Go ahead. Go Alice? ahead. Alice? Yeah. Dude, she threw a pitch that every I was like, uh like just You like, were literally she sat where he goes, every time she pitches, I get hard. Oh god damn, that was hot. Oh my god, bro. Every time she throws a pitch, I get fucking hard. <laughs> That's was, literally what you it said. It was insane. Like the baseball, that baseball scene does go really hard, and it it's pretty cool. It is cool as fuck. It's cool. And the song. It's so 2010. Yeah. Oh. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like, like they they like just like sprinting, uh-huh. and then like the I was like the way she throw she just does a kick in the air, uh-huh. and the ball just flies. If that was the MLB, I would watch every game. Every episode. I would watch episode, every, every fucking game. game if it was like Shohei Otani. Like back when everyone did steroids uh-huh. and Alice, I would watch. And Alice, I would watch all of that. If that was the MLB, <gasps> that is my pastime. I just love that you love Alice. So there's a like a hand. There's a lot she's of people fine. that don't like Alice, and it's so weird. I, is is she gonna be annoying later? No, she literally never is. I love <clears throat> Alice. I love her so much, and people just like like to hate on her. She yeah, I mean she has a hateable like. Like, you could be like, shut the fuck up. Like, I get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But Her you know. talent is cool as fuck, though. Being able to see fragments of the future, that's cool. I would not want that. I don't want to see, like, the, the... That's panic. Yeah, if it was, like, at least within the next five minutes, if I, like, stubbed my toe, yeah, that'd be dope to, like, see that. Yeah, but, no, like, that's coming. I don't want to know about, like, what? She's going to stub her toe? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. Um, But, I mean, I like her a lot. I, yeah. I, you know, I, if I had an Alice shirt, I'd wear it. If I had an Alice shirt, is that is that my is that my is that okay to call my bias Uh, now? No, you're good. You're good to do it. All right, Team Alice. I'm not Team team (laughs) Jacob and Edward. I'm fucking Team Alice. Team Alice, dude. I love it so much. I will watch you play baseball every time. Every every single time. Um. So, another fun fact. Um. Just because I have these. Um. Robert Pattinson. (laughs) So he is a musician. Um, I don't know if he officially wrote Bella's Lullaby. I don't think he did. No, he just played it, but then they, he wrote a song that played at the restaurant. 
Yeah, so he wrote two songs. Yeah. This, this, and he performed them. The songs that he played that played at the restaurant when they're like eating, yeah. and then the song where he's sucking her blood at the end. Um, in the dance studio, he is. Uh, that's like his song. That's him singing in the background. I thought because I heard it on TikTok, I thought it was like a, a ringtone. I think I that thought, is so that fucking so funny. funny. I thought it was like the intro of like a nationwide commercial. <laughs> I, I thought it was the it when you hear it with like it just <laughs> makes me <laughs> sound <laughs> yeah. It sounds like, you know, it's like donate a dollar a day to help out like a child in need. (laughs) And there's just like poor kids that are like starving. (laughs) And there's like some old white lady that's like sealing an envelope. Oh (laughs) my gosh. And then she just like feels really good about herself. And then like, you know. Or it's like, you know, corporate training at Walmart. Yeah, that's where what it's you, like how to how to help a right? customer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like pointing like where to like where to go and the like the you know what I'm saying? He's like <laughs> that's so make funny. Make sure to listen to the customer every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a catchy beat. It's such a catchy song. I never it learned took me the out. TikTok dance to it. It, <laughs> it kinda it took me out. It I probably think took be- you out because you saw it trending on TikTok. So you, no, you're probably like over it it <coughs> took you out of it because it like trended went, on tiktok when is that from tiktok yeah literally i want to learn the dance so i just never did it has I, something yeah it's like dun, 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 dun. i don't even know it i can't do it yeah i can't remember it but yeah. um okay so do you have like yeah i'm trying to go through the uh the things sequentially too yeah go was, ahead look through i your think i wrote notes. there was a lot of things i wrote that car stopping was zesty. Oh yeah, you liked that. Yeah, because he stopped the car and they were like, <laughs> like, they're like, she's like, I saw you zing. Like, oh, and then he jumps he's like, away. Gotta, he's like, I gotta go. And he's like, they're like, oh no. <laughs> and then I was just like, I was like, Gross. I was like, damn. Yeah, okay. they were really into it. I mean, to be fair, if someone like saved my life and stopped a car, I'd be like into it as well. I'd be like, fuck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get in the car now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then literally at the hospital he's like, you have no idea what you saw. You don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Just gaslight just her. Gaslights are the en- everyone is gaslighting her the entire time. Yeah. I feel fucking bad <clears throat> for her. If I were her, I would feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. Yeah, because I'd be like, because yeah, she's just like vampires are real and they're like, no. 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 They're like, no, um, I, I think, can't talk to you. What else did I wrote? I wrote, oh yeah, that one scene. I was like, yo, that looks like Betty Boop on meth. Oh my the, god, the waitress. The waitress is real. So in the book, she's like this really like hot g- girl, like this really real like beautiful hot waitress. And yeah. then you see that in the movie, and you're like what did they put you in? Why did they do her hair like that? She looks like a biker chick. Yeah. In a bad way. Yeah. Not in a good way. Um, Yeah. That 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 took me out because I was like... Yeah. I was like, you work at four? I was like, dude, I'd be like, like, get off the... Get, fucking take her to AA. Like, <laughs> holy shit. Oh, no. Um, the, uh, what else did I write? The pale faces, because that's how Jacob yeah, describes Yeah, the pale faces. And I was like, I was like, it's like, is that a race the thing? The cold or ones. Is it because they're literally pale, pale faced. Yeah. The cold ones. Um, and then those frat boy attacks. Yeah. Was really funny. So what do you think about his, his ability to read minds and the fact that he cannot read hers? I mean, that's probably why it looks like he had a shit half the yeah, time. Yeah, he's like trying to, li- he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I I'm having trouble figuring you out. He's like fucking steezing. He's like. Ugh, and he's like trying to read her mind and shit. I mean, I, I imagine if I had the power to read minds, I'd probably make a weird ass fucking face too. Yeah, well, and he's like, always, mm-hmm. it's not just like he can like look and like read your mind. Like he can hear everyone's thoughts yeah. all the time. So it's like he, like in the book, he talk. it's like different like, and I'm also referring now to the book. Um, What was it called? Uh, what? The one that she wrote recently. Twilight? No, <laughs> oh. she wrote recently oh what's it called i can't remember it has a pomegranate on it and it's um twilight from his point of view um and it's so it's literally like that thick it is so long it is so detailed and intense it's like i didn't even honestly i didn't finish it all the way because i was just like okay this is too much like it's so gaudy and soapy and it's midnight sun midnight sun i mean the title is midnight fucking sun yeah but yeah, so he thought, hears yeah. voices. He describes it as like they're like radio channel, like wavelength, just like coming in and out constantly. It's so, 
It's so much. That is so funny. Yeah. But so that's why he's always like. Yeah. Yeah. Looking like he's shitting. Yeah. I mean, I like anytime I see like a telepath in a movie, Mm -hmm. they're always hot. And they're like, you know, like reading minds like like that. They're like, I was like, dude, if it was real life and I was reading, I'd be like, uh, like, I'd be like, uh." there's no way I'd get just like, yeah, yikes, (laughs) yikes, a Rama. Again, I wrote, why are they all so fucking horny? So horny. Uh, Oh, my, especially Bella. She's a little freak in the sheets. I know. She's jumping at the opportunity to make out with this man and then die. She's like, let's just like leave it up to chance. That is so funny. That is so fucking funny. Um, She's like, suck my blood. I know, but that mo- that that montage when she finds out he's a vampire is so fucking funny. It is so funny when she's like, <laughs> she's just like looking at her computer <gasps> and like she's like she's like she's the like scrolls, pale skin click. and she's like you know like the <laughs> you know the X Files meme where it's like dun, 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 yes dun, dun. she's like putting two and two together. Yes. I was like wow. A private investigator, this yeah. one. <laughs> I was like, dude, Detective Liter- Bella's on the case. Literally, it's... <laughs> She's like, mm, pale skin, fangs, It's so... Strength. Uh, uh, blo- cold blood or, or cold skin. Like, just yeah, and the just most like, insane vampire. thing. Yeah. It's so... Also, the fact that in the car, they barely touch. It's like... <laughs> like yeah. Do you know how many people have cold hands? Just I know. Normally? I'm just like, it's literally, you're in Washington. It's cold and rainy and freezing yeah, all the time. you live in Forks. Yeah forks which is a real place and apparently very chilly very chilly it's so (laughs) cold all the time there um i wrote uh oh yeah the the fucking those three vampires hot yeah they were all hot yeah all three of them Mm -hmm. hot and their eyes are red because they drink human blood interesting all of the cullen's eyes are gold because they drink (laughs) animal blood and when eyes are black it means that they're like really hungry Mm. They just need to feed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, when they showed up, I was like, "What's the, who's the redhead one? Victoria. Hot as fuck. Yeah. For yeah. Fur jacket. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was like, damn. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, damn, red hair. Yeah. Long, Ooh. curly red hair. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And I should have watched this when I was younger. I was yeah. like, there's some baddies in this movie. There are. There are some gorgeous, gorgeous Kristen girls. Kristen Stewart's very, like, you know, weird girl pretty. She is. She's, you know? And she has, like, and she gets... In the later films, she gets hot. But they all have, it's because they all have great jaws. Yeah, they do. Wow. Every single one of them are gouaching the fuck out I was of their like, jaw. What do I have lines? to do? Like drink human blood to, <laughs> to, to, to like get a jawline? You're like, listen, I'll do it. Yeah, I'd fucking I'll do it. Do it. What I have to do, be anemic to be able to be like, <laughs> uh, to have this fucking cut <laughs> jaw? Not to look like this? That's so funny. Yeah, so, and then there's <laughs> Laurent. Who's French and cool yeah. and like uh, like a good guy? He like warns him about James, and then there's James who's just fucking unhinged. Wh- never has who's a that shirt actor's on. name? Ugh, I can't remember. He always plays an asshole. He always yes, he was in Burlesque. That's what I know him from. He was in this movie called Never Back Down, where mm. it was like an MMA Karate Kid ripoff. It's Cam Gignet. Gig- I can't say his last name. Cam Gignit. Gignit. <laughs> Cam, Cam Gignit. Listen, Cam Gignit, because he just has like a douchey face. Yeah, he just has that like, mm, I, feel like I have bad intentions. You know, when I feel like male RBF is probably like. Yeah, yeah. You know? just, male RBF is just like bad intentions. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Male RBF is chewing your gum like. Mm, like that. Mm, mm-hmm. Like that. Or like you smell something all the time. Yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the time. So he has male RBF. Yeah, he really does. So, um, uh, but yeah, I was like, they're all hot. When um, they hiss at each other, the. <laughs> I, I, <literally laughs> laugh. I laugh every fucking time. Or in like the shadows of them jumping, and they're like. I was also <laughs> imagining like like Twilight as not an actual movie, but just a lot of like theater kids believing something they wrote you know what i'm uh, saying yes or like or like those weird fedora kids uh-huh, with uh-huh. Like the fingerless knitted gloves yeah and they're just running like naruto you know they sprint to lunch and they're like dude andrew it's fine i know it's pizza day but like relax relax it's okay and they're just like you know running like this oh my like, gosh um that is really funny but yeah i think also that um to get into what the that iconic um, seen the lion and the lamb 
Right? Oh my god. What is the quote? What is the it's, quote? It's it's um so the I think I was laughing too hard. Lion to gets hear it the and lamb and then he, she's, oh, she's like, like what, what a, a stupid lamb. lamb and he's like what a sick masochistic <laughs> lion. It's like oh, 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 oh physical pain physical pain when he says that or when she says um i hate i hate the um i am something and irrevocably in love with him with edward like some of the words that they say i'm just like that's enough you don't talk like that (laughs) stop it i know yeah like like there there there's some disbelief i mean there's like a level of like okay it's a movie but like come on man like don't do it like that though stupid masochistic lion. lion Dude. And then they just had to stare in each other's eyes while after they said that. Can you imagine? Not laughing. Yeah, I would laugh actor, so fucking hard. I'd be like, dude, just cave. That cave. just reminds me of there's a scene in Star Wars Episode Three where you and McGregor literally he covers his mouth, and it's because he's laughing. Oh my because gosh! Of the line, he, it's like Anakin. He's like, I saw Anakin killing younglings. And he literally covers his mouth. And I'm pretty sure someone said it's because he couldn't. He, he, it was just he the funniest fucking line to say. Oh but good on God. them. Like, really good acting to just, like, stay in it. Yeah, yeah. Because if I was, like, you know, in my trailer, like, as I'm getting my sparkle makeup on. And yeah, I'm like, literally. I'm like, what do I have I to say? say? Masochistic. I say masochistic. I say, and, and she's like, she's like, what a silly little lamb or something <laughs> like that. What a stupid lamb. <laughs> what a sick masochistic lion. And then smile after and not laugh. That's that, insane. That is tough. Yeah. There are other words in this movie that they say that I'm just like, why do you have to say that though? But like, is that ripped from the book? Probably. I feel like. Honestly, you, probably. But that's one of those things that reading it i'm probably like that's hot yeah there are you know what i'm saying you're like yes but then when you read it out when you see it you know i don't yeah don't, it's not a popcorn reading moment no like, no no no, like, no no you know what i'm saying that's why i feel like a lot of times like you can tell when writers immediately upon saying the dialogue out loud i'm like oh i can tell that a writer wrote this and then didn't say it out loud because like humans don't talk like this they just yeah. don't they read yeah. like that they love to read like that yeah. but they don't say this language like that it's weird yeah i uh, i hope to god i can't put this out in the universe but <laughs> there was a movie i made in high school that is oh d- i swear to god if you watch it we're not going to be friends anymore um where i looking back it is so head ass but <gasps> like but like it's one of those moments where i was like why didn't i read this out loud out loud because i'm watching but at the time i thought it was good you really know what good. i'm saying yeah. so like i don't know i get it like you oh know what I'm saying? yeah Every, yes but, absolutely but yeah it, it's it, just funny. it was definitely that scene was definitely one of those things where i was like and the way he perches all the time the fingers it's always <laughs> holy shit what the fuck <laughs> my favorite thing too like like you know in the the classroom that owl that's just like uh, like on the shelf that's behind him like there's literally a fucking owl that's like when like where he sits in chem and and there that, is in microscope class because i don't know what fucking class it is <laughs> biology maybe it's like mark? it's like it's like the, yeah when they didn't look into Pro-phase. the microscope she literally anaphase goes, yeah i think Pro-phase. i know what that i'm like how you didn't look <laughs> you didn't look but um yeah, because he, he's always perching like that fucking bird. Yeah, he always his little fingers are always like, I'm like, why are you si- just sit down, just sit back, just know, sit yeah. on your butt? It's so funny. Um, what else? I think so. Yeah, that scene. Um, I wrote like <laughs> he got the Spanish flu. <laughs> LOL. Um, he's better when he's chill because after they like yeah, obviously like talked to him. Yeah, after they like had but after also in the uh, uh, character wise after they like were like. I'm a lion, you're a lamb. They, yeah, like, after cool. they like got together, I, then it was true. Yeah, I was like, okay, these are normal individuals. Yes, who are like really into each and other. He also got a different jacket. Yeah. Which a practical jacket. He's in that like gray yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. cardigan thing. Uh-huh. And I'm like, it's raining. raining. Get out of it. <laughs> I get was like, out get of a it. raincoat. Like yeah. what a pattern. Get a raincoat. I'm wearing my raincoat today in uh in honor of forks. And forks. In the yeah. rain. Um uh, I wrote okay. I wrote like I, every time we saw Bella's mom, hot art teacher vibe. Yeah, you really liked Bella's mom. Really liked Bella's mom. I always had crushes on teachers. 
all, <clears throat> evidently, yeah, you immediately were like, she's hot. She's immediately she's hot. She's definitely like hot art teacher. Where yeah. You're like, you're she's like, she's a hot mom. She's a MILF. Yeah. Where I'm like, I'm like, why are you taking this elective again? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't just know. Like, I just know, like, like being in your class. I love to paint. <clears throat> um, yeah. What else? Um, <laughs> I wrote Edward cuddling in jeans. Cause that scene oh my is gosh, always they're so always funny. laying in weird position. He's always in jeans. I'm like, you're literally stone cold vampire. Just wear sweats. Literally, yeah. just wear sweatpants. Yeah. It would be so fucking slacks. Even fuck. I'm like, dude, yeah, uh, swe- yeah. Just don't wear jeans when you cuddle. And they're like, he's always like, <laughs> <laughs> just. Um, what else? So in the movie, I guess. Uh, yeah, so they had that fight with all those vampires during mm-hmm. the, the baseball scene. Mm-hmm. And then she, like, is mean to her dad. Yeah, because she had to be, because she had to, like, protect him. Because she's special, right? Or they just want to eat her. She, because he is, so James, the character, is, like, a super tracker. And immediately, yeah, immediately when he, obviously her blood just smells super good, um, which is just weird. But it probably smells like pink perfume yeah like Like, probably like that like just like (sighs) yeah yeah Yeah. probably like that um and then when he saw how much like she uh uh, she meant to edward he just like immediately wanted to kill her what an ass to like just to like fuck with him yeah right right so then they had to pretend that she was leaving so then he wouldn't even like bother with the dad like just yeah, that and, they, and they and they uh, yeah, and they drive to Arizona, Arizona in, in what like, looks like two hours, but it actually would have taken twenty four. Yeah, twenty four hours. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine like uh, I'm driving and then like like Edwards in the passenger seat. He's like, I will be there. I love you. My, I I'll, I'll be there soon, my we're, love. We're gonna go away for a long gonna, time. I'm gonna be there, baby girl. <laughs> Hang, and then like hangs up, and then you're just like, <laughs> and you're like. I'd be like, oh, Jesus Christ. Just turn up the volume. I'd be like, what the Ooh. fuck was that, dude? And I'm like, yeah. this, Awkward. this is a 24-hour car ride. Literally, like, literally. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, and then, like, J- I always thought that scene was so funny with James, like... Recording? No, Yeah, like, on the phone with her. Oh, my god. Just the gosh. way he's, like, leaned up against the wall, and he's going, yeah. like... I can imagine him going like this on her pictures, and oh. he's, like, he's like, I'm at your old ballet and studio. Then when they're, and then when they're in the ballet studio, and he's filming her like this, like, this is Bella, and he's, like, right there filming her. I'm like, okay, it kind of loses its value <clears throat> if you're that fucking close. It blows out the image. Yeah, I'm like... Maybe trying to get a POV video in there, but <laughs> like, uh, I'm like literally set up the camcorder somewhere else and then walk over to her. Pretty smart of him to lure her via recording. Yeah, I mean he's he's savvy as fuck. He's a master tracker. He's a super <laughs> tracker. But like she didn't. I, I was like, bring back up. I know your homies would say no, but I'd be like, like try hey, harder. Other, anyways, uh, other strong ass vampires. Can yeah, you come with me? Literally, he I- got annihilated too. I mean, <clears throat> he listen. He fucked Bella up bad when he shattered her leg. <laughs> destroyed that was her the leg. funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. He just goes and she's like, Doosh. "Oh fuck!" And I'm like, "Oh my god!" She can play hurt and injured so well. I do have to say that. Like, she's like, "Oh!" Like, she was <laughs> really doing it. She was really good at it. She's good at looking like if I, like w- when i destroyed my yeah. knee i didn't look also good looking at this no scene. she's I was really like, good at looking uh, like hysterically i was like painful. oh fuck yeah I'm like, like snot and like i'm crying like <laughs> and she's just like oh my leg and yeah I'm she's like damn it's, yeah she's she's like <laughs> that's what she's doing <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, her hurt is like uh, and, then, and then she goes uh, cross-eyed she goes cross-eyed <laughs> When she's holding her leg, she's like, I was like, are you having an orgasm via leg break? She was like, oh, Edward, my leg. I love it she's so like, much. Ah. She's not like that. You are making that up. Okay, whatever. <sighs> no, um, it was so good. Okay, predictions. But what are ho- your predictions? Ho- ho- we have that whole scene. Ho- All right, go I, ahead. I just go got ahead, like go quick ahead. things. Okay. When, when they find him and then they have that like <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> have you seen... Uh, what we do in the shadows. Yes. Yes, I have. So what we. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I remember when he's like staring at him and then like, and like, I, and he's just like, <laughs> and they're, they're in like, they're in like a fucking, he's in a plaid button up. Yes. <laughs> yes. So they're all just. <laughs> <laughs> and he has that long hair. <laughs> And he's like tossing him. <gasps> he fucked Bella up when he like slammed. Yeah, he threw her. <laughs> oh my, just bodied Bella. Just and then when 
Kenichi in the hospital. Wait, hold on, hold on. We okay, go, 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 go. But like, so like, but like when they fight, my favorite part is because I didn't know that you have to like cut the arms and heads off. They're having this emotional, having this emotional scene, and you see in the background, background like goes, this is <laughs> starting a fire. Yes. <laughs> like, You're like, like, whoa, wait, what's going on? What's like, going on? They're like dismembering this guy. He's like, they're like looking at her like lovingly, and you literally see like two people like fucking in the background, his head off. In the background, like, Alice front jump straddles him and rips his head off and then Dude, throws it back. That's my girl. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. She that's fucking rips his goddamn head off. <sighs> um, but because I was like, why the hell are killing this dude? They're just Im- just bodying him. They're destroying him. Yeah. In the later scenes, you see him <clears throat> like kill other vampires more up close and it literally is like ripping. It's like like ripping metal. It's actually disgusting and terrifying. That is hilarious. Yeah, it's wild. Higher Blade. I don't know if you've ever seen Blade. Uh-uh. It's like that, that Wesley Snipes m- movie where he kills vampires. Oh my gosh, no! But but I, I just remember, I just imagine that in my head. Um, but so yeah, funny. so the uh, the hospital scene. Oh my gosh, you fell down two flights of stairs, went through a window. They, they, the way they cut, it's like it's like you fell, you went down the stairs, and it cuts to just like her stunt <laughs> double, like, <laughs> and then like and it cuts back through a window. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, dude, if I was her mom, and I'm I like, I would not buy the first second. No, she's I'm so like, I'm down. like, her, imagine like your daughter's boyfriend is carrying her shattered body, <laughs> and then she, and I'm like looking at her, and I'm like, what the fuck, fuck just happened? Window. And he goes two flights of stairs and a window. Window. <laughs> I would have been like, I'm calling the cops. cops like Why you're the fuck? lying. I'm like she's just like. Uh, I gotta call Pete and just walks out. A horrible fucking like as much as I like Charlie, man, <sighs> you were a cop, and you're <sighs> just like, and you bought that. It's so funny. It's so funny. Oh, so that sucks for Bella. Now everyone's gonna hella think she's clumsy. Not that she yeah. got attacked by by like fucking horrible man eating vampires. Fucking fucking a frat boy vampire who Blood fucking suckers. who like threw her into a fucking wall, wall stomped on her leg and then bit her and then <laughs> Edward had to suck out the blood yeah wh- uh, she fell through a window and it looks like a bite mark yeah I'm like okay oh yeah her like the cross-eyed was a little much. It was awesome. I love it when she goes cross-eyed. It's I think it's so It literally funny. looks like they're, he's sucking her soul out. <laughs> I think it's incredible. And it's like, super nah, hot. Nah, nah, he's nah. just like, he's holding her. He's like, and then it cuts to like them getting ready for prom. I'm like, yep. your dad bought that? Yeah, fully bought it. I'm like, I, what I, the I think fuck? Charlie thinks something is up. Like, I, would, I think I would, Charlie I'd thinks something like, is up. She fell through down two flights of stairs and then and out a window. window. I'm also like, come on, guy. Like, Wait, like, and it's like they're like down the stairs, then proceeding into the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As if the window is by the two flights of stairs uh-huh, on the ground. Just like, yeah. Oh, I just thought it was so funny. Um, so yeah. And then that prom scene to wrap it up. Mm. is the funniest thing so funny again that's giving such like that one couple in high school vibe yeah because you you remember like proms like this when you slow dance and yeah. you look over and there's like always that couple that's like they're literally just <laughs> you know what i'm saying and <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like i'm like yeah yeah, yeah. Like, into each other's i'm eyes. literally like with my date like oh this is fun and he's like Yes, it's and literally then like, and like, then I'm just like, what the fuck? Bro? And then they go to community college and then they break up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like, it is that is what happens. <laughs> it's like so intense. And break up. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true, and you know it. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone's yeah. gonna remember them as the. Yeah, absolutely. With like a yeah, it's just, they're all, they're a whole vibe. They're yeah. a whole vibe. Yeah, it's like it's yeah, and. And then I just remember that one girl watching them. Victoria. Yeah. So because James and Victoria were lovers. And so Victoria's How'd she like. she get in this prom? She's hot. She I know, but where's in. the faculty? There Punch are no, the tickets. No faculty. No faculty. Oh my does not God. Exist. How did she get in there? She's also a vampire. She could probably just like jump in the back on the roof. and. Then oh, if she told me fucking anything, I would do it. <laughs> like straight up. If she told me anything, I would do it. Yeah, she's like, let me in this prom. I'd be like, okay. what else? What What else do you want? I will do anything <laughs> for you. She sits down, I just, the chair. <laughs> You're like, no worries, don't mind me. Oh, fuck. I'm just You're like, actually your drink my blood. Drink, <laughs> I don't want to live anymore if I can't be with you. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the movie. Yeah. Um. Okay, so what are your predictions for the next movie? Do so you uh, have any specific ones or you're just like, nah, man, we're just rolling? I'm, I feel like we're just rolling. I'm waiting for Taylor Lautner to take off his fucking shirt. And cut his hair. The next movie. I want to see that shirt you're off. You're in for it. Hell yeah. 
I'm ready to see those shark boy abs. Yeah. Oh man. And does he ever have them? He almost got replaced. <clears throat> so after the first movie, they were like, Oh, Jacob needs to be like, super buff so we might have to replace you and he was like oh i could do it and literally worked out every fucking day i think like just bulked up bulked the fuck up on a straight diet of chicken and tuna ball that's exactly right he's fucking you know what i mean yeah 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 he's on the h what is it h232 h <laughs> what is it called h2o no um hgh hgh human growth hormone oh. i mean everybody's on it he's Whoa. just like literally drinking breast milk yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, all, yeah. that's all the that's all the breast breast milk is is growth hormone. You should just drink breast 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 milk breast milk. Yeah, if you I if I would drink breast milk to get me jacked, I would fucking down a gallon. I bet you it. could actually. Honestly, I bet you could. I feel like breast milk's expensive. Uh, I like babysit for some people that might have some extra in their freezer. Ooh, you I'll could buy it from them. Make a popsicle. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so fucking gross. <laughs> 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 I actually think it's just sweet. I've never had it, obviously. But I mean, I had it, but I was like a child, a uh, baby. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't ask like, mm, uh. mm, ma'am. Or you know those weird kids that breastfeed until they're like nine. Yeah, that's fucking weird. I think that's weird. I'm sorry. If you breast, if you're like a nine year old and you're like, mommy, you're like, hold on, he's, you're on your Fortnite lobby. Hold on, guys, I gotta go suck my mom's tit. Yeah, <laughs> brb. Like, and you're like, everyone you're is gonna Xbox, be like, can like, I come? Hey, dude, Roger, what are you doing? Get him breakfast. Drinking, drinking. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, all right. So yeah, so that's that's Twilight. You know, overall great experience. I'm Good glad experience. I did it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, yeah, it's it's a fun movie. For I'm sure. excited for you to just keep watching them. They're gonna be good. <clears throat> oh no, yeah. Uh, and they get better and better. I, I think. I yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, all I right. bet they do. <laughs> I bet they do. No, it's they're fun. No, they definitely do. They're really fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was Twilight. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Spicy Tuna Pod. You can like, follow, subscribe at Spicy Tuna Pod. You can watch us on YouTube, and you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcasts.